Happy New Year all, January 1st, um, coming to you from my house, my tiny house. Um, I just wanted to wish everybody a Happy New Year for all of you that went out and celebrated. I hope it was a good time. I hope that it was everybody stayed safe um, and stayed smart and you didn't drive while you drank. Um, and I hope that this year is going to be a prosperous, happy, healthy new year. Um, so yeah, I stayed home. I stayed home. I didn't feel like um, going anywhere. I wasn't. I haven't been feeling good. Sorry, allergies again. I haven't been feeling good, as most of y'all know, um, for quite some time. But. Um, the allergy to my medication on top of everything isn't helping. So I'm still, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, still all nice and broke out. Look like I got chicken pox, but it's not chicken pox, y'all. I've had chicken pox. I've had my vaccinations for everything. Um, so when I was a kid, at least, I don't vaccinate for anything now, but, um, so I've been fighting this and all the other symptoms that come with it. So today's just going to be kind of a down day. I don't work today. So I'm going to stay home. I'm working on laundry right now. I've got, um, I've got my essential oil thing going to help clear the air and help detoxify the body and make it feel better. I've been taking Benadryl, I took charcoal caplets last night, um, before bed, so yeah, today is a day to try to get to feel better, but I wanted to tell you Happy New Year, <laughs> is that how you're supposed to celebrate, yay, um, so, yeah, but I'm starting off the New Year a pound down again so so far it's 14 pounds down I'm on my 15th week of doing keto and um, I had a little bit of bacon this morning and coffee and my stomach is just all over the place because of all of this it affects my stomach and everything um, but today I'm going to try to make some cauliflower Spanish rice. That seems to sit well when I'm not feeling the greatest usually. So we'll see. But um, yeah, so I'm working on laundry. I need to um, work on some dishes. I need to, I'm changing the bed linen. This table is like my office because I don't have a desk right now. And it is paper and receipt central right now. It's a hot mess y'all so I'm gonna do that today um, and I've made a few phone calls this morning I need to make another phone call in a little bit here um, I'm just gonna you know try to not do too much my stomach right now is all over the place um, so I'm gonna just try to rest a little bit today um, and be a little bit lazy, but yet still get some stuff done and just try to feel a little bit better. Um, so yeah, that's my day today. Nothing too exciting. Sorry y'all. Um, but I do have some, um, I need to do some bills and I need to do some planning for this year. Um, as far as travel is concerned and what I'm going to go do and all that fun stuff. So that's what I'm about ready to go do is get this table cleaned off and just get to uh, working on my day and I hope y'all have today off and you're enjoying your day off and um, I hope y'all are setting some goals for this year um, I am and hopefully I'll have that in this video today I'm, I've talked a little bit about it previously but um, I'm gonna try to sit down and do a um, notepad of stuff to talk about and we'll discuss what the new year um, is going to bring and what I expect from the new year and goals and um, all that fun stuff so all right I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day and you all have a safe and happy new year and start planning your own goals so we'll talk to you in a little while
Hey y'all, I'm not feeling that great. So, I was trying to rest and then I got interrupted resting. So, I decided I'd go ahead and make lunch slash dinner. I've got peppers and onions in there and then I'm um, browning up my uh, ground beef that I get from Butcher Box. Um, grass fed organic ground beef. Uh, I'm going to make me a cauliflower Spanish rice. Um, I usually can tolerate that when I'm not feeling the greatest. So I did just have some pickles to help with my electrolytes um, and see how I tolerate that. But yeah, I'm going to be making Spanish rice here. Alright, talk to you in a little while. Okay, y'all. Cauliflower Spanish rice. Cauliflower. Um, burger. Tomatoes, tomato sauce, onions, peppers, garlic. All that good stuff in there. So that's what I'm going to have for today. Hey, y'all. So I am eating din or dinner, lunch. Um, haven't been feeling great, as y'all know. I wasn't feeling great at all when I um, made lunch. I was starting to get a headache and the side of my face was hurting. And so I took some allergy medication and I've had one bowl of my Spanish rice already. And let me show you. I am on my second bowl of Spanish rice. And um, y'all might be like, oh my gosh, she's eating two bowls. But when I'm not feeling good and, and nothing is sitting right in my stomach and when I find something like this, because this always does, um, when this sits right in my stomach, I'm going to go ahead and eat two bowls uh, to make sure I'm getting my nutrition in and to start feeling better. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. We'll see if I'm hungry later on tonight, but um, it's like 1.30. So, yeah, I'm enjoying this. Alright, talk to you later. Hey, y'all. Sorry, I'm shaking the table again. Um, I need to tighten that table. It's a little loose. Um, I'm looking a little tired today. It's all good, though. <laughs> I haven't been feeling well. Um, looking a little rough, but that's just how life goes. Happy 2019, y'all. Hopefully, you've had a good New Year so far. Um... I wanted to discuss New Year's resolutions or goals that you had uh, for 2019. Water in my Christmas cup that was given to me. Um, trying to stay hydrated. I'm not feeling well. Um, I talked a little bit about my goals for 2019 a while back, but I wanted to recap that and just set us off with the new year on goals and resolutions and all that fun stuff that's going to come up. Some of you may make resolutions, some of you may make goals, what have you. Others may not do it at all because they feel like, why well, set them? I'm not going to achieve them. Um, each person individually has their own feeling about it and that's okay. Um, I make goals all the time, so this is nothing new. Uh, sorry, I got allergies, which y'all should know that by now. <laughs> What's new, right? Um, so I'm going to just do a real quick recap on some of the stuff that I've talked about before and then, um, throw a little bit extra in there. So I'm just looking at my paper down here. Um, my goals obviously have been becoming a healthier me that includes weight loss, healthier eating, um, I haven't really got into too much exercise like I was before, but, um, yeah, so becoming a better, healthier me by my diet and, um, trying to exercise a little bit, just being a healthier me. And I did not figure out, I was going to figure out my goals or my totals, sorry, on, um, excuse me. On what I've lost so far I'm up to 14 pounds um, and I let's see 
four and a half inches in my hips and eight inches in the waist and four and a half in the thighs so far and I'm on week 15 of keto the healthier lifestyle so that's my goal is to keep going towards my numbers I'm hoping by April and April I'll be at my goal or pretty dang close to it so um, a little at a time it takes a long time to put that weight on don't forget that y'all that are set waist loss goals for 2019 it takes a while to put that on it's gonna take a while to get it off if you're gonna do it properly and you got to do it properly if you want to keep it off so there's no quick solution and you have to change your bad habits of what you eat so the next goal is traveling obviously I've said that before I would like to travel more this year um, if money was no object I'd be traveling quite a bit but it is and I have to work so um, traveling more this year is my goal whether it's a short jaunt it's um, 12 hours away if it's a 24-hour trip whatever um, traveling more going places seeing things doing things I don't normally do getting out there enjoying life a little bit more um, and then this year getting closer to being debt free I've said that one before also um, uh, my goal this year my big goal this year for being closer to being debt free is to have my work car paid off um, by end of January so a little over a year but uh, that's my goal is to get that paid off um, so a little every month goes a long way put an extra on it every month so that's what I'm gonna be working on as far as debt free because the closer I get to debt free the more I can travel the more I can do things that I enjoy the less things you have the less things you buy um, the more you can enjoy life um, the less stress you're gonna have the less worries just like when my tooth came up um, that's stressful for anybody because it's a pretty penny I think it was close to $700 and I'm still not finished um, so little things like that the more debt free you are the more opportunity you have to not stress about uh, upcoming expenses that are unexpected like that so becoming debt free um, and then also to inspire and help people um, through my YouTube channel through everyday life um, I try to do that in my everyday life with clients that I have with friends that I have uh, through my YouTube channel different avenues of and inspiring helping people when and where I can also to grow my YouTube channel I don't know how big or whatever I ain't got no numbers in mind yet I just want to keep growing that so make sure stop what you're doing if you haven't already hit that subscribe button I think it's on I don't know which side it's on there's a little subscribe button there's also a thumbs up button hit that button that's the like this video and then also hit the notification bell and that will notify you when new videos are being loaded so subscribe thumbs up and hit the bell so yeah to grow my youtube channel that's how i'm going to grow it is people views share my videos that will help um every view grows my channel every like grows my channel every dislike grows my channel um every subscriber grows my channel so that's how you can help me grow my channel is by watching my videos and sharing them with people and then this year this 2019 is to become a better me overall um, health wise debt free wise um, YouTube channel um, traveling everything every aspect and I'm constantly thinking I'm constantly coming up with new things new ideas new plans um, and new opportunities to do business that kind of stuff so um, 
yeah, just becoming a better me in all aspects of my life. Also enjoying life more, and that goes hand in hand with traveling. Um, just enjoying from the little moments to the big moments. So whether it's going to a butterfly garden, or it's walking on the beach and seeing the dolphins, and whether it's hiking in the mountains of Tennessee, um, whether it's getting on a plane and flying somewhere for the weekend, um, whether it's just driving somewhere random that you've always wanted to go to and just checking out what the little local town has. Um, just enjoying every little moment because we are not guaranteed we'll make it to 2020. And I say that with seriousness in my voice. And I also say that lightheartedly that um, don't take life so seriously because you are not guaranteed you're going to have tomorrow. So remember to enjoy every moment, the good and the bad. Um, every good moment makes you and every bad moment makes you. And what you choose to do with those moments is going to make you the best person you can be if you choose the right decisions in that moment and sometimes we don't always choose the right moments because we're human we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God so if you make a mistake stop where you're at no, recognize the mistake you made do your best to change it and then move on because that mistake in the past is not going to define who you're going to be in the future if you don't allow it to. So every day become a better you and enjoy life more. So if that's the only thing you take from this is just become a better you. Not because other people want you to become a better you, but because God wants you to be a better you and you should want to be, become a better you. Um, you're an example to everybody that sees you, everybody that comes in contact with you, whether you know it or not, or whether you try to or not. You are an example, and God's watching. So become a better you and enjoy the life that God has given you. Um, so that's, yeah, that's my goal for right now, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll have more because I'm constantly thinking of stuff. I've got some business ideas that are flowing through my head, and I'm just... Um, figuring those out and we'll discuss that in another video but um, yeah and we'll discuss like side hustles with your side jobs and stuff like that in order to um, lose weight or make more money or whatever your side hustle job is um, the reason you have it to buy a new car or whatever um, we'll discuss side hustles and jobs um, to create a debt-free life or for you to buy that car or whatever. So, um, but that's what I have for tonight. I'm going to, um, get a shower. I gotta do some more dishes. Um, I had dinner dishes I've gotta do. I did dishes earlier, but did three loads of laundry today and I tried to rest because I've just not been feeling well. Um, and I've gotta work tomorrow. Not a full day, but I gotta work. Um, so, yeah, just doing a little here and a little there today. I didn't get as much done as I should have because I was lazy, but I also needed to rest. But tomorrow's a new day, and I might get some of that stuff done tonight before I go to bed, but, yeah. So that's my New Year's Day. That's, I pretty much tried to rest. Um, was not feeling the greatest, so... I hope you have some goals in mind for 2019 or resolutions. Um, I hope that you do your best to accomplish those. Um, you and only you can make that happen. If you don't try and strive for it, you're not going to make it happen. Uh, you'll be stuck in the same place that you have been. So you can choose if you want to move on and become a better you and all different areas of your life or you can choose to stay right where you're at 
and be unhappy with yourself because you didn't try to do anything differently. So this year I'm challenging everybody to do one thing to better themselves this year, whether it's weight loss, whether it's financial, um, getting a side hustle job, paying off those bills, um, not spending money on crap you don't need, um, getting rid of the toxic relationships that you may be in that you know you need to get out of and you just haven't done it yet. Um, moving on to a more peaceful life. Um, going to church more. Um, eating healthier. Exercising more. Um, maybe saving for a new car. Um, getting a new baby, a fur baby, or maybe a real baby. Maybe you got goals to have a baby this year. Um, maybe that's to travel more like me. Um, whatever your goal is, maybe it's just to clean out your refrigerator. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but sometimes the smallest goals give us the biggest rewards, even if it's just cleaning out your refrigerator or your cupboards. Uh, and those simple tasks will actually encourage you to do the bigger tasks that you've been dreading to do. So start small. That's my advice. Start small. Find something that you know that needs to be done and do it. And you're going to feel good about yourself. And that's going to be a trickle effect, as I've said before about trickle effect. You do that one thing, that's going to lead to another thing because you know the endorphins that that brings you and the satisfaction of getting something accomplished that needed to be accomplished. And that's going to lead to the bigger things. So slowly work your way up to the bigger things if you're not able to tackle that big thing all at one time. Um, take it slow. Don't beat yourself up if you fail once, twice, three times. Keep going. Get back up and do it again. Um, the most successful people in the world have failed many times and will continue to fail many a times because you've got to go through a lot to be able to understand sometimes where you need to be. And once you understand the journey, the end process is a lot easier. So don't look at the struggles as if everybody's out to get you and you're never going to make where you need to be make your goals or get to where you need to be that's just part of the journey and take it in pray through it do the best you can and you're going to come out on that other side you're going to be fine so just keep going towards your goals no matter what it is little by little keep striving for your goals all right i'm gonna let you go i've been talking way too long and um i'm gonna go to bed because i'm tired and remember, subscribe, hit that little subscribe button, hit the thumbs up if you like this video, hit that bell, notifications when new videos are loaded, share my videos, and remember to live a simple, happy, healthy, tiny life. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Dishes are done for the evening. Countertops are wiped down. Laundry is done. That's all drying on the line. Now I've got to fold all this. But the laundry is done. Making some yummy coffee for
for the evening before I settle down and get a shower and go to bed. That was my skinny syrup. And now I'm doing my almond milk. Stir it all up. And then a touch of this. she's ready. Cheers. Hey y'all. I am sitting here. Just got out of the shower. Getting ready for bed. Wanted to finish out this video. Having my coffee. Um, doing some YouTube stuff. And making lists. So I've got some exciting lists that is coming up. Um, some videos that I'm going to be doing about um, budgeting and spending and um, different challenges I'm making for myself for 2019 so I can go ahead and pay off my debt. So be on the lookout for those videos and I've got some really good ones that are going to be coming up that will help you financially um, be a wiser spender and saver and paying off debt and just some ways to challenge yourself for 2019. Hey Alex, he's on TV. <laughs> um, so be on the lookout for that and um, I just wanted to close out this video like I said. Remember to subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you like this video, go ahead and share my videos and um, hit that notification bell and remember to live a simple happy healthy tiny life talk to you guys tomorrow bye